So here you are, you're balancing things out, you're setting goals, you're being inspired, and you're trying to look for the positive things in life. Like what's next for Faux Locks for, um, by Rachel? Whew. <laughs> you know what? I don't have an answer for that. It's mm -hmm. kind of like whatever happens, happens. It's, right. it's more so... Um, I'm just letting this thing kind of just be yeah. and I feel like that's okay sometimes because the growth is real I'm meeting people I'm connecting with people God is is just bringing all of these women into my home because mm -hmm. mind you this is um, this business is in a sacred place my, my house right so I'm bringing different energy into that place and mm -hmm. that's huge you that know is. Um, and it's kind of like I'm learning from these these certain women. I've had people literally cry out. They're telling me their stories wow. to me. You know, they really they really get comfortable. It's amazing what goes on in the hair salon. That's why men, <laughs> that's why men y'all ain't right. invited to the hair salon because that's our time to cope. That's our right. time to connect as women. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing, you know, how how um, comfortable they become with me and tell me these certain things. I'm like, wow, you know, did you just realize I've never you know, this is the first time we met it's more of an intimate thing, you know, because I mean, your hair, you know, right. that's very sacred. Um, and you're comfortable enough to break down and mm -hmm. cry and share this moment with me. That You know, that's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. You know, yeah. while I'm working on your crown, you know, it's like a, we're drying that. the tears. It's like, okay, we're going to get through this, rocking the new, rocking your new crown. Girl, and mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, I just got chills when you <laughs> talked about <laughs> it is, you know, while you're working on their crown, mm -hmm. you know. Us as women of well color, right, you know. Right. I think just in general, I can't just say African Americans, but mm -hmm. you know, our hair has so much meaning behind yes. it, and some people put more emphasis in the, to their hair than mm -hmm. they need to. But yes. I think it's not necessarily everything if you do not have it, but it is a very important part exactly. of our lives. Yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. uh, and, some, and embracing that beauty. Yes. Yes, especially embracing. You need to embrace it. You need to accept it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to cut your hair, ladies, do so. I've Jessica knows I've cut yeah. my hair about maybe two times since we met. Maybe one. And it's grown back. Yeah, it's grown. I mean, like, it's about longer than mine. And yeah. I'm feeling this time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, go ahead, go ahead. It's, it's okay. You know, it's a process. It's a process. You have to, your hair is like a plant. You have to just learn it. You know, you have to water it. You yes. have to love it, and you'll see the growth. You know, because if you kind of just leave it or <laughs> not really learn it, it's gonna die. It's you ain't gonna, gonna see no no. <laughs> and you know what? It's so key that you say that because this morning when I woke up, we have plants upstairs, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, they need water. You know, I'll get to them some other time and I was like that's just like my hair mm -hmm. I literally thought that this mm -hmm. morning and I was like because I just water them every now and again they get really limp right. and sometimes the leaves turn brown I gotta go and pick out so that's like yes. me trimming, trimming out the my hair. end mm -hmm. and then when I water them then it'll sprout back up it looks yes. really nice mm -hmm. and healthy Yep, and then you have your days where it's like, I'm not dealing with this today. And your uh -huh. hair, it hears that, it feels that. And it's like, okay, you want to go and mess up? I'm going to mess with you then. I'm going to break off. Oh I'm going to thin God. out. I'm going to do all this stuff. Breakage. Mm -hmm. Breakage is real. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a whole nother video for a whole yes. nother time. Mm -hmm. But my God. Yeah. Yeah, that is a great analogy. I literally just thought that this mm -hmm. morning. So yeah. the fact that you brought it to light, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like a plant. If we think yeah. of our hair in terms of that, keeping it moisture, right. keeping the nutrients that it yep. needs. Keeping it trimmed, mm -hmm. uh, not daily, but um, I get my hair, and everyone's different, but I get mm -hmm. my hair trimmed six to eight weeks. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mine's about every six months. That's probably why I had to get two yes. inches cut off. <laughs> mm -hmm. You probably, have to get it, if not every, I would say every other month. Uh -huh. But um, it's it's up to the stylist. You right. know, if, if you don't know what you're doing, just go, get try to go to the professional right. and let them handle it. Because uh, I'm yeah. feeling like every time I grow, because it. It seems like it doesn't grow that fast, mm -hmm. but every time it grows, it's like, and I'm getting it trimmed, like, where's the growth at? Right, so, yeah. You have yeah. to get it trimmed. I know, mm -hmm. it hurts it, in the beginning. It hurts. But once you see that progress, you're like, okay, this is so bad, I'm gonna keep going mm -hmm. because I wanna see that growth. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yep, and I, I was listening to a YouTuber who was talking about, you know, 
everything else you know our skin our nails all this stuff yes. you know think about it. it's it's living but our hair is dead mm -hmm. so once you damage it it can only take one time to do so right it's done is you can't right. necessarily take Kinda, and you, right you get the fullness you, out of that you have to either start from the beginning or work from there you know mm. <laughs> who wants to start over <laughs> So, you know, um, this part, this is, we're getting to the end, but this oh, wow. part is just the lightning round. I got this from a podcast that I love to listen to. Shout out to Side Hustle Pro, where she just hits up these quick questions and you just answer them. First thing that comes to mind okay. really quick. Uh, what mantra do you live or, or are you living by this year? Mm, mantra. Ooh. Mm. I, I really have to think about that because, mm -hmm. um, you know what? It's more of, I'm, I really want to, this year, I really want to focus on, focusing on the present, the now, being okay with accepting that things happen for a reason. Right. Um, and to just really not only keep you know being bratty about why isn't this happening to me why is why is this happening or why is this not happening mm -hmm. but more so um just really look at it and say or think about okay what can i learn from from this situation or mm -hmm. what how can i better myself uh, from today. Right. Um, I guess that's just, I don't have really have a, a label for I think for that was it, perfect. I just, think just living in the present. Yeah, living, living in the present. Living in your now. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, you know, because if I, if I can be just transparent with you for a minute, mm -hmm. um, I've, I've suffered from anxiety um, for a while, for a couple of months now, and mm -hmm. it's been to the point where it's getting kind of scary. I've had to um, call the ambulance one time with myself because it was just, uh, this. I had this breathing attack. And right. <clears throat> I feel like that's God kind of telling me I need to slow down because yes, I had the full time job. Yes, I have the hustle. It's great. The money's great, but it's like I need to make time for myself too. Mm -hmm. um, self love is important. Mm. You know, just mm -hmm. getting that time in for you. I do so much for other people, but right. what am I doing for Rachel? Right. You know, and right. so I'm trying to just learn to just relax. Mm -hmm. You know, that's these, real good. Yeah. These these last couple of months have just been on and on and on. I got to go here, here, here. Yeah. Doing for other people, doing for other people. But what am I pouring into myself? I like that. Mm -hmm. So relax, breathe, breathe, count to three. Do yeah, whatever something. you got to do. Yeah. yeah. Just really just the way you take out that time for God. You have to take about take away from that time for yourself. Right. And that's mm -hmm. one thing for 2019 for me is putting me first. Exactly. And it's not a bad thing. It's not that I'm being selfish, mm -hmm. but if I'm not mentally, emotionally, and right. physically in a state mm -hmm. that I can be of help, then what good am I? Exactly. Yeah. Who's mm -hmm. a woman who's inspired you to become and connect with a better version of yourself? Gotcha. I actually have three women. Mm -hmm. um, it's my great grandmother, my godmother, and my mother. Mm -hmm. um, yep, they're all three. All three of them are at the top of my list as being um, in, in my world as my queens. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and sometimes it's hard to just pick one when yeah. you have so many that mm -hmm. have imprinted on your life. Yeah. And know that brighter days are coming. <laughs> oh my <It's> gosh. Like, <laughs> who was that? <laughs> it's like, come on, guy. God is like, yes, come on. Yes. <laughs> I had to edit that. I thought I put my phone on silent. She got to wait, Lord. <laughs> who is a woman who's had. I can't even read right now. Oh my God. This is blue. And. You know, until next time. Until next time. Okay, let me roll back. <laughs> <laughs>